yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, hey, yo, man, we got uh, Boosie on uh, YFN Lucci, man, you know what I'm saying? Remember that story with the with the dude that got pushed out the car, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the dude that got, well, we're going to talk about that. Uh, we got um, uh, YK Osiris being dragged all around the shade room, man. I'm talking about drag, man, you know what I'm saying? Because of some insanity that he did, man, on air in front of everybody, man. We're going to show you that joint. Um, uh, we also got him uh, take off some other um, suing the operators uh, where he was killed. We're going to give you some information on that. And uh, YNW Melly uh, was going down with that. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tasks. Go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Yo, check this out, man. Uh, so, uh, YNW Melly, man, I've been watching this joint, man. I mean, I mean, I, I, not watching it, watching it, but I mean, like, this is a case that I find to be relatively fascinating. Here you got a man that has been accused of a double homicide, right? Uh, he was accused of a double homicide on both of his boys, okay? On both of his friends. It was said that, um, he got into a fight maybe like a day or two earlier where one of the dudes that, uh, uh was considered, um, killed, um, knocked out his gold gold tooth or something to that effect or knocked the gold out of his tooth or something like two days in front of his girlfriend two days ahead all of a sudden that dude get killed by uh allegedly ynw melly okay double homicide now the man's facing the death penalty you know what it is okay he's in florida and the whole nine y'all you know florida ain't playing that right off the top we already knew florida wasn't playing that okay um he's facing the death penalty if he's found guilty his uh, uh, defense team, man, one of the one of the lawyers had the book Evil Plans and stuff, okay? And, I mean, the thing is not looking good at all, man. And, and he had the song Murder on My Mind. Prosecutors are saying he, he openly admitted to it by saying, I did that, and then, shh. You know what I'm saying? So, for all intents and purposes, it looks like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it, I mean, the prosecutor's job is to make it sound like he did it. And a defense team is to make it sound like he did not do it. His defense is saying everybody else did it but him. Okay. But um, the evidence about what went down in the car and the whole nine yards. But I think the, the whole thing is supposed to be beyond a reasonable doubt. So if you have a little bit of, well not, if you have doubt about whether the person did it, then they should be off the hook. But it's got to be beyond a reasonable doubt. If I understand it correctly. That is to say, yo, I have no doubt in my mind this guy did this. You know what I mean? And so the jurors are, are, are facing that. If I understand the concept of reasonable doubt. Now, just talking about it made me feel like I got to go look it up. Let me see what it says. Reasonable doubt and the, uh, the album better not pop up. Reasonable doubt meaning. Let's see what the, what the meaning says. Just so I could be crystal clear. A reasonable doubt is a doubt based upon re reason and common sense and is not based purely on speculation. It may arise from careful and impartial consideration for, of all evidence or from lack of of evidence so what is an example of reasonable doubt a trial for manslaughter in which the prosecution was only able to convince a jury panel that you had a 75 percent uh, percent chance of committing a crime because the jury is 25 percent uncertain the prosecution was not successful in proving beyond a reasonable doubt that you're guilty so there shouldn't even be like 25 percent uncertainty you got to be crystal clear like yo this guy did this um and for a long time, you know, a lot of people said, yo, man, you know what I mean? Like all the evidence from the, the bullets, uh, the direction of the bullet, the trajectory in the car and the whole nine yard proves beyond a reasonable doubt. And then his song, you couple that with the song, you can be, oh, it's art, it's art. Please, with the art stuff. I mean, I get it. A lot of music is art. I do get that. But if I murder a person and then suddenly draw a fantastic painting of the murder scene before, during and after, you can't be like, oh, because it's art that disqualifies it from being an actual murder. Miss me with the dumb, the dumb bull ish. OK, we know like a lot of things are art, but a lot of things are people confessing like self snitching type stuff. A lot of people self snitch on themselves just because they put it on a beat does not now like exclude it from being a confession to a murder. I mean, let's not try to play the dumb game over here. Some people just like want to play dumb games. I don't care if you make music or not. I don't care if your song is hot. If you, I'm not saying he did it. I'm just saying if you committed a murder and you are a musician, your behind needs to be behind bars. That's just what I firmly believe. Just because you can make a hot song should not exclude you from being placed in a prison cell when you commit murders. 
That's just what I feel. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but a lot of people, they don't, they don't operate according to sense. They operate according to this other thing, feeling or emotion or this other stuff. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, anyway, like what, what people don't consider is when people get murdered and killed and stuff like that, it's family members that are, that are dealing with that. There are children that are involved. In fact, speaking of family members, um, what is it? YNW, uh, Juvie's Pops, I believe. Okay. He had something to say about folks speaking on the case. Okay. Take a listen to what YNW, uh, Juvie's Pops had to say. People still sharing this around old Melly, even that chat going up. Free Melly, Free Melly, Free Melly, Free Melly. Man, everybody that's saying Free Melly, that's to you and your mama and your daddy and everybody that look like you. And it's me, I said, y'all bitches, man. Boosie down there, support Melly. He, he, he flaw as fuck for that. But you know, he don't even know that nigga Melly. Nigga Tom's oh, I want Melly Freak. That nigga bought me some snacks and magazines at a magazine. Snacks and magazines at the airport. What? Man, nigga, why you ain't go, go to Marlo Mike trial? Nigga, fuck you this nigga trial. Marlo Mike in that bitch fight for life, nigga. Nigga, you got that man stunned up the road but all doing all that goddamn time, but you enough for Melly. And got them niggas in Louisiana fighting they got that Baton Rouge fighting they life. Nigga, you got your priorities fucked up, nigga. Go back to your hometowns, scary ass nigga. Shit. I think he was very, I think he was very nice. He must be a Christian. He, he was very, very nice about it. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I would, I, look, I would have struggled to be nice. I would have struggled to be, if I, look, if I have a child and somebody murders my child on some foolishness, man, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm losing my mind. It, it, it takes everything in me not to be in prison. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like, I, it's his son that got killed. So I 100% agree with, you know what I mean? Like, yo, if my, if my child gets killed and now you like, oh, free the killer, free the killer. F you and everybody that looks like you and your bombs and your grandma and, and your whole generational line. That's the way I would feel. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, feelings are not right or wrong. They are. You know what I'm saying? They just are. You you just feel a particular way. And that's just what, what's my time looking like? I'm spending a lot of time on this story. Um, take a look at this uh, YNW Melly now in court and um, him praying before court. Take a look at this joint. Really? Really? I know I know a lot of people look at that and be like, oh, he's praying. A lot of other people are looking at it like, man, please, come on. Like, what like really? This is not this does not look like the mugshot picture where he was smiling. You know what I mean? Like this does not look like all of that. I know a lot of people don't agree with what I'm saying because he made some music that they like. Okay? Okay, fine. You could choose to disagree. We all have our own um, our options of being able to agree with each other or not. But come on. You know what I'm saying? Now, you, you got two families sitting here staring at you in a courtroom. You're praying and blowing kisses and that. Really? Man, they're going to they gonna sentence this man to something serious. Like, <laughs> if he's found guilty, oh, they're going to lay it on him. Well, well we already know they're going to lay it on him. Anyway, uh... Listen, after the traumatizing death of Takeoff, right? Everyone is stunned by his death, which I believe, um, that's the first stage of grief, okay? First, shock and denial, then anger and blame. And the Prince family had blame laid right at their feet, something serious, you know what I'm saying? About two weeks ago, a Prince family associate by the name of DJ Pat was indicted for murder. Now, Takeoff's mother, Tatiana Davenport, is suing the property owners of the establishment where her son was killed, okay? The lawsuit claims negligence on the part of, uh, you know, five companies, 810 um, Houston LLC, uh, Houston Green Street, Lionstone Partners, Midway Companies, and Cushman and Wakefield of Texas, Inc. Lawsuit also states that the venue and its associated business entity entities were negligent by failing to provide a safe and secure environment for the party and allowing criminal activities to occur. OK, they are seeking more than one million dollars in damages related to the artist's death that which to me um nowadays it sounds like a, don't one million sound like a no a low number one million is a killer number i'm just throwing it out here you know what i'm saying if you make if you make goodness gracious if you make 
a hundred thousand. You know, they say nowadays a hundred thousand is like 74 back in, uh, I think it was the late 90s or something like that, or early 90s. Yeah, a hundred thousand. If you make a hundred thousand for 10 years, you just made a million. You know what I'm saying? You just made one million dollars. Um, I think that's, I think that's the math. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, look, they, look, he got away with that. Anyway, let me do my shout outs real quick. Um, uh, 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 real short, real short, man. We ain't gonna be before your long, man. Yo, check this out, man. Um, all right, here's, here's a question. Day five. We, we on day five. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's your opportunity, man. Hit the like button, support the channel, man, and all this other stuff. Engagement. Let's see some engagement in the comment section, man. Um, look, listen, let me ask you a question. You've been kidnapped and your rescuers is the last artist you heard music from. <laughs> Who's coming? And are, are you, are you doomed? Put a D for doomed. Put an R for rescue. You know what I'm saying? You've been kidnapped, and your rescuers is the last artist you heard music from. Who's coming, and are you doomed, or are you rescued? Put the joint in the comments below. Put D or R. You know what I'm saying? And if you're Dominican Republic, you could put both. Uh, if, you're a, uh, if you're a Dominican, you could put both. You know what I'm saying? I love my Dominicans. Uh, you know, I found out I have Dominican in my blood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I found this out a while ago too. My, like my cousin was like, "Yeah, yeah, you know our grandmother's grandmother, whatever. She had the Dominican in the blood." And I was just like, "Oh, I love me some Dominicans." So really, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I heard the Dominicans hate Haitians. So how that how that go? Well, you know, sometimes people they hate each other, and then and then and then they find each other sexually attractive at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but people be like, oh, I hate you. I can't stand you. I want to kill you. But I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't mind getting some buns from you. Like, it'd it be going down like that. A lot. You know what I'm saying? Because that happened with um, slave masters, didn't it? Anyway, uh, that's your this day five question. Uh, all right, look, 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 let's wrap this bad boy up, man. We, we, uh, look, YK Osiris. Oh, this man is, oh, this man right here, man. I'm going to show you a video of what YK Osiris did to Sukihana, okay? I'm going to show you a video of what YK Osiris did to Sukiyana. Take a look at this joint real quick. What the hell? What the hell, man? Like, that's disgusting, man. What the hell, bro? Like, like I feel bad. Like, sometimes, man, the scariest thing, your women, y'all afraid of spiders. Y'all afraid of, y'all afraid of bugs. Y'all afraid of roaches. Y'all afraid of all these things. This man put his mouth on her mouth. You know, you know, mouths have like some of the most like uh is it like bacteria or something like that like like the one of the dirtiest things ever is the human mouth you see what i'm saying this man tried to forcibly put his mouth on this woman and i know a lot of people okay look the shade room is going ham on this joint right because a lot of people got a lot to say about um whether she deserved that or not okay which is insane okay um, one person by the name of Don Pablo said, you could literally see every day that most ninjas are not getting any buttons. YK Osiris is one of them. That's what Don Pablo had to say. Somebody else said, I hear you, but we got to stop acting like two troops can't live. Guy uh, Dollar Sign said, yes, that ninja a creep. Yes, that's the energy she puts into the world. And that's the type of ninja it attracts. YK Osiris just tried to tongue her down on air. She getting back what she put out. How do I feel about that statement? How do you feel about that statement? I, I need you to put that in the comments below. Is what is Sukihana getting back what she puts out? Now, when you put certain things out into the atmosphere, you will get back what you put out. People do reap what they sow. Is she getting back what she puts out? And does she deserve it? You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the other question. Is she getting back? When you get back what you put out, do you deserve it? Well, you put it out, so should you get it back? Well, you put it out. They're like, why should you not get it back, right? I guess. I guess it's like saying, if I sowed an apple tree, like seeds, into the ground, then shouldn't it be that I get apples? If I sowed my seed into a woman, then shouldn't it be that I have children? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the seed that comes from sowing into the ground of a woman you know, you know what i mean like that's just what it is if you sow seed into people then you should get what comes out of it and sometimes it's not seed sometimes it's a headache y'all you, you know that you know what i'm saying especially when well forget it you're like wow what were you gonna say like i said especially when you really when you 
You know what I mean? Like when you, you know, when you, the, the G spot, you know what I'm saying? Like when you, the A spot, G, all, all them spots. You know what I'm saying? If you really get it going, like, well, forget it. Uh, somebody else, 6229, said, why K.O. Cyrus is so disgusting for that? And then gonna have the nerve to go run to men seeking validation after the stunt he pulled. He like a bad, eh, annoying kid you want to pluck. I mean, he tried to, here's my thing. Um, here's my thing. I mean, another person by the name of Desire, right? She said, all the perfect righteous people about to start dragging YK Osiris moment. It was sexy. Let's all be adults and move on. It ain't sexy, Desire. It's not sexy. It's sexy if that's your husband or whatever. And maybe even then, I think it's still not quite sexy. Because here's the thing. Honestly, like, I'm, I'm the, not, maybe not everybody is like me. But honestly, I think kissing is kind of nasty. I don't, I'm don't. i not saying I would never do it. I'm just saying I think it's kind of nasty. And you really got to really, really, super really be in love. Or you really got to believe like you, I mean, I got to believe like I'm really, I got to love a person to want to kiss them. And I don't want to kiss a lot. Like I wouldn't want to, lips are my favorite part of a woman. But that don't mean I would want to, you know what I'm saying, kiss every woman. Because kissing is kind of nasty. You see what I'm saying? So... You know what I mean? For somebody to forcibly, if a woman try to forcibly kiss me, that's on some, that's on some, you know what I mean? That rapey kind of stuff. Like, that's like, yo, man, what are you doing? Like, and then in public, and it's one thing if we're in public, we're on a damn air, fam. Gosh. Like, nah, chill. That's, he, he violated for that. 555 said, why K.O. Cyrus need to go to jail? Since, since when is um, assault funny? Y'all weird ninjas. Y'all ninjas weird. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Shannon Sharp said, um, wrap this bad boy up. Boosie, Boosie has some words concerning YFN Lucci. Now, I don't know if you remember. There was a shootout that took place with YFN Lucci's boys. And um, I want to say YSL. I don't know who the other group was, quite frankly. So I'm not going to say it was YSL. But YFN Lucci's group got into a shootout with that. And, and, and one, of the, one of YFN dudes was hanging out the car busting shots and then he caught a bullet and died and then so they pushed him out the car according to witnesses they pushed him out the car you know what i'm saying you're like oh man that was really a ride or die no 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 no. that's not a ride or die because he didn't get to ride he died you know what i'm saying he so look if you you can say ride or die all you want but if you die you ain't gonna ride you see what i'm saying anyway um uh <laughs> Boosie had very strong words about um, with the witnesses in the case. Take a listen real quick. I with Lucha, bro. This dude ain't running no Rico. N and I'ma say that. Go home every night, man. To his family, man. Man, dealing no doing none of that, bro. Go home every night, man. It's a bad Rico, dog. Witnesses say they seen him push him out. Ha! A witness said they saw him push him out. How can a witness see from the outside if you get pushed out from the inside? Think about it. Reasonable doubt I'm fighting it. Could I open the door his damn self? Ain't no what telling when you get shot. Rest in peace the Lucha boy, man. But they got that man up. A witness saw what the she saw. If she outside, sound like a paid witness to me. That's what it sound like. Yeah, yeah, that's what he had to say. Now, look, YFN Lucci, man, he had a plea deal that was going to knock that 20-year sentence down to 17. He was like, man, I'm not taking that plea deal. And, I mean, 17, 20, I mean, three years is a long time. And, uh, you know, on year seven, if you didn't take the plea deal, on year seven and you got 20, on year 17, you're going to be like, damn, I should have took that plea deal. But, you know what I mean? Like, like, come on. You're like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, 20, y'all going to give me 20 years, man? We might as well just ride this out because... Yeah, I'm not doing 17. It's got it's gonna be life on this. I I hear some people are all or nothing kind of people. I'm an all or nothing kind of person. Like, yeah, we're gonna burn this whole joint down or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. Like, we going all the way to the dregs. You see what I'm saying? Like, you ain't eff effing around with me on that boy. You know what I'm saying? Um uh you'll let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. You know what I'm saying? Are you a ride or die kind of person? I'm not ride or die. 
Are you a, a, a to the dregs kind of person? Would you take a plea deal if you if you had the op- If they offered you 20 years. You no, know, if they told you they give you 20 years, but if you take a plea deal and snitch, you get 17. Would you snitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sometimes it make a difference. You might be like, yo, if I didn't do anything, what if you was involved in it? Well, that's a dumb question. I'd rather you ask, answer the other question and give me a D or an R. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, pause. I don't like the way that sounded. Um, give me a D for doomed or R for um, rescued. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hey, yo, man, let's try to get these likes up to uh, 1,000. Can we get it to 1,000 in an hour? Let's try it. First, first hour, remember, man, I know you like, man, my little my little like ain't gonna count, but it's gonna count, trust me. It counts, it, it, and, it, and it helps spread us out if you don't mind us being spread out. You see what I'm saying? If you, um, every time we get we get a video over a thousand likes, man, that joint gets spread out like crazy, especially first hour, first two hours or whatever. So help your boy out with a like, I definitely appreciate it, man. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.